Um, Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving me this opportunity to contribute to this report tabled by the Committee of Powers and Privileges. And Mr. Speaker, we have seen this play out in the social media, in our social media platforms, our official WhatsApp group page between Senator Gloria, Gloria Oroba and the people alleged, namely the clerk and others. Mr. Speaker, we have also, I, I'm also, I also happen to be in the committee that he's referring to, the committee for ICT, and I'm also privy to some of the alleged conduct by my colleague, Senator Gloria Oroba. Uh, but Mr. Speaker, I beg to differ with the report and state that not only is it very punitive to our colleague, Senator Gloria, it is also seems to be discriminatory because first of all, we are, we are tabling this report and debating it in her absence, in the full knowledge of the Secretariat of the Senate and your office, Mr. Speaker, that she is away. We have also seen conduct that could be similar, if not worse, to what Senator Gloria is accused of. When we had, um, an, uh, when the, the minority side was having an altercation with Senator Dulo, we saw Senator Eddie get rough and, uh, and disorderly in the house. I have seen my colleague, Senator Sifuna, address the speaker and tell the speaker, shame on you to his face. Is it because Senator Gloria is a woman? <laughs> is it because that Senator Gloria is a woman that she has to go through this punitive and don't get me wrong, Mr. Speaker. I am Senator for... Senator Spooner, you are next to contribute. I think you can combine all your issues at, uh, at, at that point. Mr. Speaker has, has, a has minute, uh, Senator pronounced Senator himself. Colin. And don't get me wrong, Mr. Speaker. I am for the, the role of the Committee of Powers and Privileges. Just a minute. It's because you mentioned his name. That is why uh, he has the... the, the, the Point of reply. So should he go out ahead? Yes. Senator Spuno. Mr. Speaker, pursuant to Standing Order 120 on relevance, the matter that is before us is a report of the Powers and Privileges Committee on the conduct of a named senator. I would urge my sister to restrict herself to the contents of this report. It is a matter of record in this House that I have been punished severely for every crimes that I have ever committed on this floor <laughs> so that nobody can bring that into this particular discussion. I have never been let scot free, not because of my sex or anything. I have been punished for all transgressions that have ever happened on this floor and I don't see how relevant it is to the discussion before this house this afternoon. And also thank you this, uh, of this chair because you have equally been pardoned severally for uh, mistakes. So, Mr. Uh, Speaker, I also that finish, but avoid and dragging the names of your colleagues on this matter and just uh, just stick to your uh, issues. Okay, I am you guided. are doing so well before you start and mentioning the I am guided. names of the members. And Mr. Speaker, I don't want to be to be misunderstood. And don't get me wrong. I am for discipline of the members. I am for the Senate's respect, and I'm for order. But Mr. Speaker, we cannot banish a member for six months in this house because of maybe she did not express herself in a way that we expect. She did not um, conduct herself in a way that we all expected because we have, we, here we are different characters. And as young people, we can get overzealous and overenthusiastic. So Mr. Speaker, even if we are to take action against Senator Gloria. I am of the opinion that six months is too punitive, it is unnecessary, and if we are to adopt the report, we adopt it with changes so that we minimize and we reduce that period 
where our colleague is supposedly supposed to be away from the house. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Edwin Sifuna. Mr. Speaker, uh, six years ago, uh, there's a famous black French footballer called uh, Benjamin Mendy who arrived at uh, the Manchester club called Manchester City as the most expensive defender at the time. Mr. Speaker, around November of 2020, this gentleman was arraigned in court and charged on six allegations of rape. At that particular point when those charges were brought against Benjamin Mendy, his career entirely stopped. His contract at Manchester City, of course, was put on hold. His bright future as a footballer was thrown into confusion. It was only in January of this year that that footballer called Mendy was cleared of those charges. Mr. Speaker, there are certain truths that we know in our society. There are certain crimes called crimes of morality that in fact, Mr. Speaker, 